Happy Friday, church. I hope everyone is doing well. The parable we'll be looking at today is the parable of the ten virgins. This can be found in Matthew 25, verses 1 through 13. If you would, turn there in your copy of the Word of God and follow along as I read. Then the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them, but the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will not be enough for us and for you, Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. So guys, this is <clears throat> this parable is a warning to be prepared, to not be complacent, to not be lackadaisical. The bridegroom is Jesus, and his bride is the church. We prepare in our lives every day for school, jobs, hurricanes. We even prepare for snow in the south. When there's a snow forecast, we run out and we empty all the stores. But some people think it isn't important to be prepared for God. This is the thing that we should be most prepared for. This is our eternity. If you're not prepared for this, what are you doing? Um, we're starting to see a pattern in some of these parables. The wedding feast and the two sons was the same as this. In the wedding feast, the man showed up and he didn't have on his, his wedding garment, which symbolizes our righteousness. He showed up in front of God and he, he didn't have Jesus. And so that's a huge mistake not to be prepared there. With the two sons, the son who said, I will go, and he didn't go, he didn't take it seriously. He wasn't prepared for the fact that when he gets home, his father's going to know he wasn't in the field. His father's going to know he wasn't serving him, and then he lied to him. So guys, we have to be prepared. God deserves to, and therefore will be taken seriously. We need to be prepared. We need to be studying his word. We need to be praying. We need to be in a relationship with him. We need to love him. That's the first and the most important commandment is to love God. And by doing that, we can love others and we can obey all the other commands. So guys, I, I just highly encourage you to take God seriously, to take his word seriously, and to take your relationship with him very seriously. Don't be one of the foolish ones. Be one of the wise ones. Be ready 